When it comes to making videos, the editing can make or break it. Because you can have the most beautifully shot video with pristine audio, but if it's not edited well, people most likely won't stick around to watch it. So to make sure that doesn't happen to you, here's some editing do's and don'ts to follow. Do use text and graphics appropriately. Now this does vary depending on what type of videos you make, but in general, you're gonna wanna have some sort of graphics in there. Whether it be B-roll, text, motion graphics, visual effects, you're gonna need some of that to keep the viewer visually interested. You never wanna keep them staring at the exact same same frame for the entirety of the video because that can lead to wandering minds which leads to lost interest. But make sure that you don't overuse graphics either because that can lead to overstimulation and visual fatigue. I mean I doubt you want to be staring at this for an entire video either. Don't keep dead air. Pacing is such a great aspect of creating a good video and a great way to really kill your pacing is to leave in too much dead air. See when you edit your video like this it slows down your video so much and leaves it feeling kind of awkward. So you wanna make sure that you cut all those silences out. And a super easy way to do that is to use our shortened word gaps feature, which automatically removes all that no good dead air. I hate you dead air. Do have consistent audio levels. There's nothing more annoying than having to keep raising and lowering the volume of a video because at one moment it's super quiet and then super loud the next. So an easy way to make sure your video doesn't end up with this issue is when you're editing, make sure you're using the same audio source like headphones or speakers and keeping your computer at the same volume throughout the entire editing session. For example, I like to use headphones when I'm editing and keep my volume at 75 from the start of when I'm editing to the end. The reason I do this is because it's super tempting to just raise my computer volume when an audio is too low in my video and vice versa. But that doesn't actually fix the problem. Instead, you wanna raise your audio levels in your editing program to make sure that everything sounds equal and balanced no matter what volume your computer's at. Don't make the video too long. When editing a video, it's tempting to leave everything you shot in the final cut because why not? I mean, you worked hard on filming all that stuff after all and you wanna show it off. But more often than not, there's gonna be chunks of your video that probably don't need to be in there. Cause it can lead to your video having a ton of fluff and ultimately being longer than it should, which leads to your viewers leaving before they finish the whole thing. So to avoid this, make sure to rewatch your video or better yet, have a friend watch it and look for parts where the video starts to drag a bit. It can be everything from a joke that doesn't quite land to over explaining something. Ask yourself the question, do I care enough about what's being said or shown to me to keep watching. And if the answer is no, you're probably gonna wanna cut it out. And yes, it is one of the most painful things you will ever do as an editor, but it gets easier with time, kind of. Editing does so much heavy lifting, it's what brings your video from a bunch of random recordings to a final product that anyone can enjoy. So if you follow these tips, you might end up making your video that much better. And then you'll become rich and famous and create a video empire, and then, and only then do I want you to remember little old Randy who gave you all these tips in the first place. And you know, maybe give him a million dollars or something. I don't know, maybe? No, forget it. I knew it was a long shot. Thanks anyway.